So here's a team you know quite well coming mm -hmm. to town. What can you tell us about UCLA and their players and, and what they bring to the table? Yeah, uh, they're you know they're a really fundamentally fundamentally sound team. Uh, they got a good quarterback, some good receivers, uh, good running backs. It should be a great uh, great test for us. You know, I'm excited to compete against them. I've I've grown up playing against a lot of the guys on the team. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good test for our team for sure. Robert played last year in, in, in the game. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you like about him as that quarterback? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I think he he reads the defense as well. I think he uh, gets his throws off quickly. Um, so you know, we just got to be tight tight in our coverage. Uh, you know, what I'm saying he makes he makes good plays, uh, and he you know he runs around a little bit too. He had a long long touchdown last or uh, well, not last week, but two weeks ago. Um, so you know, just got to contain him, make plays. Sierra, other than the other than the three pass plays that that got good yardage for Ohio State last week, you guys held Smith and Abuka um, down pretty well, um, and Tate. What what? What does that do for the confidence of the defense and the secondary to have gone up against that passing offense and held them under 300 yards? Yeah, um, I mean, I think there's always room to improve. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, like the three passing plays at the end of the day, like we still want to eliminate those. Um, and yeah, we went against, you know, those are some pretty, pretty good players. Uh, but we have good players too, you know, so I know that we can compete with whoever's lined up across from us. Um, so I think it, instead of it being like a confidence booster, it's more of like a, just a confirmer of what, what we're capable of. Nebraska's looking for that sixth win and obviously bigger goals beyond that, but how do you as you're entering November kind of keep what Coach Rule said was that championship mentality? How do you keep what you kind of learned from last week and now move that into accomplishing those goals in November? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's just kind of just, you know, getting rid of what happened last week, getting rid of what happens the week before, um, and just keeping like that one and all mentality, you know what I'm saying? Like this, it's all UCLA this week. That's all we're focused on, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, preparing. Um, getting all the pieces put together and, and getting ready to go out there and uh, get get the win for sure. When you step back and look at your path in Nebraska, how fast has this all happened for you? I mean, getting here basically in July and kind of having the injury of Tommy Hill give you the opportunity. But I mean, when you think about how fast this has all happened. For you? Yeah, I mean, things have definitely moved quick. Um, but that, you know, that's what life is, you know what I'm saying? Being able to adjust. Uh, I think that's that was one of the things for me, you know, just coming here, being able to get acclimated in the beginning. Uh, definitely had a few little bumps and stuff like that. But, you know, now I've kind of smoothed things out and I've gotten um, comfortable in the system and comfortable, you know, just back on the field and stuff like that. So uh, things definitely move fast. But, I mean, I'm blessed to be here and I'm very thankful for this opportunity. As a guy who's gone against the Nebraska offense in practice and, and for months, what element does it add when – Dylan can run the ball the way that he. Oh does. yeah, I was thinking about that in the game. I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be out there like Michael Vick next week. Like he uh, he for sure he, he definitely I know he's gonna be doing a little bit more moving around and you know he knows and he knows he can do it now. And that's the thing when you have like a younger quarterback like it's just him getting out there and getting those reps. Like he he running all over the field now. He knows like he he has that ability. And I I saw it from the beginning that he had that ability. But now that he's done it, especially against a team like Ohio State, um, definitely is gonna be something that defenses in the future are gonna have to to, to worry about. Is that as a defender when you're trying to, to account for his arm and then he pulls it down and runs? Oh yeah, it's, it definitely is a uh, definitely adds a whole another layer to the to the game. You know what I'm saying? Definitely adds a whole another layer for sure. Uh, Anything else for sure? The transition for these Pac-12 teams. I mean, how do you think that's gone for? I mean, you probably talked to some of your old friends down there. I mean, having to make those cross-country flights to New yeah. York to LA. I yeah. Mean, have you had a chance to ask some of those guys like? Or just your view of their transition a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that, that's that's a good question. I actually haven't really talked to them about what the what the difficulty is for me going to LA and going to a place like New York or something like that. I know that's definitely difficult, just with like the time difference and the, the flight time and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, football is football. You know, wherever you're gonna be at. Um, so. I think it'll be over time. The the you know more West Coast schools will probably get more acclimated to having to do all these lengthier travels, and then same with you know schools in the Midwest having to go out that way. Um, but you know at the end of the day, like when you line up, you line up. So having not been here in the winter, um, and you're not necessarily going to get a taste of it right away. You know, nice seemed like nice weather this week. You're going to go to USC, but at some point, what, what you know whether it's practice or a game, what, what what's your what's your um, you know how do you feel about going out there and playing and practicing if it's 20 degrees or? Blue? Yeah, nah, I definitely peeped. It's been getting cold. Like in the mornings, I'll be biking up here. It'd be like 30 degrees. I'm like, dang, I'll be layered up and everybody making fun of me because I'm they like, you're not used to it. But, you know, I'm going to just put some Vaseline on my arms. I'll probably be straight. I think it'll be cool. So just got to play. Anything else? Thanks, dear. Awesome. Thank you, guys.